Hello guys, it's your Quan Julian and in this video we are going to discuss about the market, where are the market headings and discussing about few trades. So first thing I think is the funding rates. We had crazy high funding rates like the past few days and we had like uh, two days ago this crazy flush you can see here with all the funding rates kind of like resetting way lower. So we are in the bull market so it's normal to have funding rates pretty high. So it's not really a, a sign of like, oh, I want to exit the market or anything. Be cautious with that. We are not in the bear market. But still, it was pretty cool because like we cleaned up like everything and now the funding already are back a bit <laughs> higher. Honestly, it's crazy. The leverage is already back in the market. But still, it, these are good opportunities to see who is performing, not performing, and also uh, buy back lower some, some coins. So these are like, it's something like super interesting to, to, to look at. Another thing is uh, Bitcoin dominance. I think I was chatting in the private group a uh, few, uh, two weeks ago, but the dominance going down, then we had like this crazy spike and we said that dominance is going down. I think it will go down a bit, but unfortunately, most likely I think it will bounce off a bit or it will stay uh, very stable because, you know, with this ETF, all the inflows are going into Bitcoin um, and not really on other crypto directly. So that's why Bitcoin is so strong. The cool thing is um, total free, so um, cryptos without, uh, so the whole market cap of crypto without BTC and ETH is really skyrocketing. I think all our bags are really kind of like printing, all our altcoin bags. And um, honestly, I think it's, we are going higher. And so it's like no rush, uh, going higher, keeping your, your bags on. But you can see that we are kind of like at the same place like here, I think. It's like perhaps we can still have like few... Uh, uh, weeks of like consolidating or like going higher but not like crazy and then we'll have like this big I would say um, uh, I would say spike but you know we already like I think a 2x on altcoins many altcoins are still lagging and I, I still have a lot of I think um, can st still go way higher but still market is already uh, a bit high so um, that's why uh, be cautious and always try to figure out the best I would say uh, premium on the on the market we shared in the private group, I think, a trade. Uh, it's not, I think, like we shared a private in the private group, like a trade on uh, IOS um, network. So, um, you know, AI vibe was really something. I think the two last, the, the, since 2024, the two big thing were meme coin and AI. Um, and this is, these were like an AI coin. So we did like a, a good trade. You know, it's, it's always the same, like on some AI trades, I have exited a bit um, early, uh, I think, yeah, on... Mm, on AGIX, I think I've um, exited like uh, 0 0.9. You know, it's it's okay, it's, uh, it's gains, and at some point it's very like uh, going higher. So I would rate for some consolidation, and and most likely, you know, on, on this kind of like market, sorry, when you have like three times, you know, uh, highs like that, where you still have some flush, like it's not, oh, sorry again, it's not going like crazy, crazy high like it was before in terms of like speed, like here. Um, this is where like it's 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 a bit like slowing down I would say, and this is where like uh, you want to be a bit cautious and take some profit exiting the market and then rotating to other coins. There is still a bunch of like AI coins who are still uh, mispriced for me and who are better risk reward than uh, um, this coin at one point two dollars. Um, I think one of the crazy thing is like if uh, let's check here so you can see. Um, the, um, the account like really pumped a bit um, because of the market, right? So let me put my head up here. Um, so yeah, if I don't have a trade on this account on if, but yeah, if very strong, I think we had like this crazy rally where we're all waiting for 3K, 4K. The idea is like, can it's like really, I would say ramp up. Uh, to be transparent with you on my if bag, I have added some uh, leverage on the, on this dip um, and have uh, on the same time trying to sell a bit some uh, Bitcoin spot just to uh, balance and manage, like I would say my overall exposure. Like I don't want to be like um, with too much leverage on the market. So you have the funding fees really killing, <laughs> killing us. Uh, so that's that's the that's the that's the bull market, right? Uh, if you want to use some leverage, of course it has a cost. But yeah, if a crazy crazy pump um, at some point it will it will slow down, and I think we will have uh, easier like exit price. But if is already like very way 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 higher. Um, on my end, to share a bit more things, um, I recently like wanted to increase a bit more my, I would say, stablecoin ratio. So I think like in the last, I was really like, I think 
um, uh, leverage on the market so I had, as if I had no stable coin. So that's why I, I took profit a bit uh, yesterday and I think today I will continue on Solana um, to profit like uh, 140 and I think 140, 160, I will take profit on Solana. And if it reaches, I think 180, I will kind of like reduce my bag because I think it's one of my, um, uh, it is one of my main exposure right now. And I want to reduce it um, a bit to rotate to like other coins who have like better risk reward. And I think I'm right now um, um, long, but I want to get back to 5% stable coins on my overall, overall portfolio and then try to, uh, why not if price keeps going higher to reduce a bit my exposure and get some some stable coins? It's not really to secure profit. It's more like, uh, I don't know, if we have like some crazy opportunities or if I need some cash for like some um, ICOs or anything, I just want to, to be ready and uh, without like, I would say, um, 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 like selling a coin when you need you need the money, right? Um, I'm still bullish, you know, on ETH BTC ratio. Um, I think it's it's an interesting chart to look at. I don't know if we have it on Bybit. Uh, we have it in spots. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. And um, yeah, we have it in spot. Actually, it's a pretty funny chart because sometimes we have some um, some weeks here, so you can you can play around them. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty. I'm pretty honestly. I'm pretty. Uh, uh, you see, I'm, I'm an order book guy, so I have perhaps the order book taking too much place. But I think it's, oh, sorry, I think it's it's still like um, um, a decent um, a, a decent trade. Um, so I have rotated like and still rotating a bit of my BTC against ETH. So I'm I'm kind of like in no rush. I'm more waiting for uh, big dumps like we had like this week. I think I, I rotated like a few two or three percent more of my BTC bags to ETH just slowly. Um, I think this level will hold, you know, uh, I think we will not break down this level. It's, 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 it's still probable right, that we will break, we break it down. Um, but yeah, I think it's most likely we, we will keep it and uh, we will have like some crazy performance on ETH. Uh, and that's why I want to be ready. The thing is that, you know, with this ETF, um, if we don't get an ETH ETF, most likely if the pump of ETH against Bitcoin will be pretty Week. So that's why um, uh, waiting the ETF or waiting for more rumors could be like the best way to time your, your trade. Perhaps I'm rushing a bit uh, too much here, but it's it's part of the game. Another thing I wanted to show you, uh, just because like I have so many friends who are like um, um, a Cosmos or Atom maximalist, and I just want to um, uh, to clarify something. Uh, basically, if you look at um, uh, okay, let me go. Perhaps weekly is even better. If you go in weekly, so don't doesn't look like a bottom here. Um, I think it starts to look like uh, atom like is a good trade if you have some Bitcoin and you want to to get a bit more risk, to swap a bit of Bitcoin to to atom. But honestly, I'm not super bullish on atom. Uh, I would not have like few percent of my bag in atom. Maximum, I think one or two percent. Really, maximum, maximum, maximum. I think right now it's like zero point five percent, even perhaps a bit less. But it does look uh, like uh, a bottom. If you get like a better, I would say, bottom structure, then perhaps you can try to figure out a trade where you will extract, like let's say, 1%, 100% trade. I think would be a decent one. I think it's still a bit rushing if you're entering here. Um, so yeah, I would, I would, I would remain um, um, cautious. And, and yeah, and, and Atom really underperformed like since the beginning of the bull run. So be super cautious on the asset you choose, and uh, and, uh, and and make sure you manage your risk properly. Um, the other thing is, oh yeah, also for every like alpha or trade we share on like the, the, the group, um, be super cautious um, on like the leverage or how much you size your position, you know. Um, we see too many people like going way, way, high, way, way, too, way too high in terms of risk and you should really try to, to, to be cautious. So um, now let's try to open up a trade. So I had the trade I wanted to open, but it's not listed on Bybit and it's only listed on Mexi. It's kind of like a very low altcoin, 50 million market cap. So it would have been spot, but uh, <laughs> it's not listed on Bybit. Perhaps Bybit will list it soon. Um, uh, but yeah, let's let's start off with a trade. So I think one of the trades I want to do here is perhaps, uh, let's say a continuation trade on on um, on um, on the meme coin. 
Um, so, um, t t t because I, I, when I did the video, I thought it was this on Bybit, but it's not because I purchased it like on uh, Gate or Mexi, I think something like that. So a, a lower, I would say, exchanges that I'm not a big fan of. To be transparent with you, um, I don't say it's unsafe to 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 trade there, but I only have the money like I use to buy the altcoins that are not listed like on any other like bigger centralized exchange. Uh, I think we are in a bull run. Um, centralized exchange, the risk of counterparty of centralized exchange is is way lower than one year before. But still, um, I'm still cautious. That's why I'm mainly using Bybit for trading. Uh, link in bio, by the way, as always. Uh, I think it's the, it's the best in town when it comes to trading. Um, let me try to look at SHIB. A uh, long time I haven't looked at SHIB. Um, you know, um, sometimes like this, uh, meme coins offer like, I would say, decent um, trading opportunities because like you had this bump and then it's retracing and you have like this triangle you can play. Uh, and you have like I would say an invalidation point pretty close, but it's not really um, it's not really the best trade I would say here. Um, let me check at some coins if we can find a small opportunity here uh, because I have I have all the graphs in mind. <laughs> I have looked at them like uh, earlier this morning. Um, well, Filecoin. I have something interesting to say about Filecoin. Uh, let me check. Um, I really want to short Tron because <laughs> I think we did like a big move to edge a bit my portfolio, but perhaps it's a bit more advanced trade. Um, let's let's find out um, if coin that hasn't pumped or squeezed in the last few days. So CRV pumped, um, ENS2. So I think it's ranked in terms of volume here because I think the volume <laughs> are decreasing now. Uh, so that that's that, that's what I do, you know. Sometimes um, let's let's check looks. Um, okay, looks look pretty good. Um, so that's what I do, you know, all day. Like he's like trying to figure out like what's going on on the market. Um, so also that's something is like. Um, for example, looks looks kind of like interesting. We are so in a big like resistance, I would say. So I would kind of like add it in my uh, monitor list. Um, I have it, I think, small in uh, in spot back, but honestly, it was not a, a very good trade. I think I would wait it to see a clear breakout and then uh, rebuying it like on a, like a buyback, I would say, um, on the on this support. But it's not the best trade. Honestly, I'm frustrated because the coins I had in mind was a, was a decent one. But that's the thing, it's like uh, always try to have like um, a global view of the market, knowing what's going on. Uh, and for example, let's say I want to open a, a long on looks. I think there is some news getting hot. I don't have like any, I would say, um, uh, NFT exposure. So go to 3X and what I always start with. So here is like a small account, I think. is the account I shared with you, like it was at 6K or 7K, now it's like at 12K. Um, I would kind of like just add a, s a small position like of $100 just to, to have it like in my monitor list. Like if I click like on show all position, I will have it um, um, just to, to start to be in the market. Uh, I think that's, that's a good thing is like before sizing super hard on the trade, I think it's super cool to um, just have it like in your, in your, in your, in your, a trade open on it, even if it's a small one, like $100, $10, just to, to have it in mind and like being able to mm, say, okay, um, I have it and now I'm a bit like, okay, focusing a bit, le a bit more on this trade and I'm, I'm like ready to, to, to ramp up. Um, I think there is Mina. I haven't looked at it quite early since a long time. And I want to take some exposure back on Mina because I, 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 as we told you, like I cut my long, uh, I don't remember what it is like in this zone. Um, but you know, here is not the best, like I would say setup. It's kind of like consolidating like in this zone, uh, but here we are starting to in daily to show like some weakness, you know, it really like um, making higher lows. Um, I think we'll perhaps see it a bit better in four hours. Yeah, you see like, um, that's the thing is like, I think that's, these flush are also very interesting. Um, you know, when you have this flush and you have a coin flushing and of course going back up uh, because like all the coins went back up because it was kind of like a flash crash. But still, you see it's pretty weak here in terms of like how much it, how it went uh, went back up. Uh, we discussed, I think, in the private group about Phantom. Um, Phantom is like a very interesting one, way more. Um, now it pumped quite more. But because like you had this kind of like very fast recoveries and then you have the, the breakouts and it's it's looking a bit better. And so big issues with all these coins. Um, I think one who were looking kind of like horrible, I think is Litecoin. Because it's like trading lower than 
Oh yeah, it's, it's okay. But still, you see, Litecoin is like one of the horrible one because if you looked at how much you retrace, like so since like I would say uh, end of like half February, uh, the thing pumped not significantly, and then you had these crazy weeks where basically everybody's out the market and and um, and then now it's a bit weak. So yeah, these are the kind of like the coins to avoid. But yeah. Um, have a look at the, at the, at the, at this, I will put the link in bio of this, of this funding, I would say, uh, rate, um, charts, but be cautious. Like I have heard too much, like, uh, too, I have seen too many of my friends really when the funding went higher, not even here, I think here, like starting to be a bit yellow, they, they reduced a bit too much their exposure. And I think if you look at near, um, on the, on the 26 compared to now, uh, even though the funding is higher, the price is way higher. And it's, it's bull market, people are able to pay uh, kind of like a significant, I would say, premium just to be long. And, and that's part of the game. But sometimes, yeah, when it's everybody, everywhere like orange, you have to be a bit more cautious. And, um, and then also making sure like when it's flush, you don't have like super tight, I would say limit orders just to make sure you let it, the market breathe a bit and you are able to, to add uh, slowly without leverage because be careful guys with leverage, you know. Um, and I think we will have this cycle the leverage is getting back into the market. We can have like a big uh, blow off top on the market because I feel the market is adding a bit more leverage. And at some point we will, um, many people will be long when it will dip, people will add a lot of leverage and we'll have this big liquidation cascade we had like uh, on like free AC and everything. So yeah, be cautious, you know. Um, it's always a matter of like sharp ratio and like um, what's the, what's the, what's your risk reward, you know. Um, I see too many people who, um, make more money just because they take way more risk and at some point it worked but at some point you get the the the, the wrong thing of it of like <laughs> getting hit super hard in terms of loss and uh, and you will uh, and they will understand that it was not the best strategy i would say so yeah that was it uh feel free if you want me to discuss about any other altcoin or uh, add something very specific in like a market update i will try to to do it once or twice a week and um try to to improve uh this like i would say uh, market update uh, kind of like content see you soon guys